In recent years, automakers have been adopting hybrid and electric powertrains for their cars. And even though they were initially expensive to make, they're now becoming more and more affordable. As such, Honda has also adopted the same, and they're currently in the process of making their cars hybrid. So far, they've done this with a couple of the cars in their lineups, such as the CRV and the Accord. Now, the Honda Civic is joining the hybrid family, and this is for the 2025 model year. But what does Honda have in store for us? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll look at the 2025 Honda Civic as we learn what Honda has up their sleeves for this one. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's see what the 2025 Honda Civic brings to the table. Since 2015, Honda has not yet sold a Civic Hybrid in the US. However, for all those who wanted a compact, electrified vehicle, Honda gave them the insight. And even though it wasn't the same as the Civic, it still served its purpose. The 2025 Honda Civic was revealed for the European market about a year ago. However, about a week ago, it was confirmed that US production had finally been confirmed for the 2025 Honda Civic. Production will begin next year, sometime in spring 2024, starting with the Civic Sedan at Honda of Canada Manufacturing in Alliston, Ontario. After this, the Honda Civic hatchback production will begin, with assembly taking place at the Honda Indiana Auto Plant in Greensburg, Indiana. On the other hand, the Civic Hybrid will replace the Insight, which was built in Japan. The 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid will be the next step in Honda's plan to make its lineup all hybrid. The company has plans to electrify its lineup eventually, with plans to have an entirely electric lineup by 2040. And to get there, they have to start by increasing their hybrid offerings as they bridge this gap. About a year ago, Honda launched a hybrid version of the Civic hatchback in Europe. After this, there were speculations that the car would also make its way to the States to replace the discontinued Insight sedan. And for sure, this was Honda's plan all along. However, even though it has been confirmed, we're not sure exactly how Honda will adjust the European car's powertrain for the United States market. The current Honda Civic Hybrid comes with a 2.0 liter inline four engine and two electric motors. Combined, they give the car about 181 horsepower. For the US market, we can only hope that it has an output closest to the 204 horsepower offered by the closely related hybrid setup in the 2023 Accord Hybrid. So far, there are rumors that the 2025 Honda Civic Hatchback Hybrid will be built in the US. It's also been said that the two-motor hybrid power unit will also be assembled stateside at the Honda Transmission Plant. As for the 2.0 liter engine for this system, it will be built nearby at the Anna Engine Plant. At the moment, both of these Ohio plants already supply powertrain components for the Honda CRV Hybrid. Roxana Metz, the plant co-lead of the Indiana Auto Plant said, our associates are proud to play an important role in the Honda electrification strategy by adding production of the new Civic Hybrid to the CRV Hybrid we now build. Sales of Honda Hybrid models already represent more than one quarter of our sales in the US. And we're proud to help our customers transition to the electrified future with our made in Indiana products. At the moment, Honda expects the hybrid to comprise over 40% of Civic sales in North America when it arrives next year. That's a lofty goal that should have the Civic Hybrid competing strongly with the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid and Toyota Corolla Hybrid. At the moment, there are no additional details shared regarding the powertrain for the American market. According to European specs, the Civic Hybrid uses a 2.0 liter direct injection, Atkinson cycle four-cylinder engine paired with two electric motors. Combined, the car gets about 181 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque, which is more power and torque than the Civic's 1.5 liter turbocharged engine and more torque than the Civic Si. However, when it comes to the US market, it's unclear if these specs will change at all. If they remain the same, the Civic Hybrid would have a power advantage over its competitors, Hyundai and Toyota. As for other details like pricing and interior design, they will be released closer to the on-sale date which is expected to be sometime in 2024. One of the most significant challenges for reintroducing the Civic Sedan in the American market is that consumer interest has moved from cars to light trucks and SUVs. However, 
Honda is still hopeful and sees sedans and hatchbacks as important parts of their business. Mamadou Diallo, the vice president of automobile sales for American Honda, said, The market has shifted away from passenger cars, but cars still matter to Honda. The cars bring in younger, more multicultural buyers to the brand. The introduction of a hybrid powertrain to the Civic lineup is all part of Honda's plan to keep those younger buyers coming. Honda is also planning to open the order books for its all-electric Prologue SUV this year, which will be its first step towards the broader electrification of its lineup within the coming years. When it comes to the driving experience of the current Honda Civic Hybrid in the European market, a lot of people have claimed that it's a little noisy on the road. However, it is still a pretty fantastic compact sedan. It has also been rated at 33 miles per gallon in the city and 42 miles per gallon on the highway, which makes it pretty economical on gas. There are a lot of details that are still missing, such as whether the interior will change in any way. So far, we only know of the powertrain, and we're not even sure how it will be. However, given that Honda is not changing much with this powertrain, we can be sure they will not change the interior as much. Looking at the current Honda Civic on the market right now, it has a streamlined interior design that sports clean lines. This has been made better by the dashboard, which features a full-width honeycomb pattern mesh design element that cleverly hides the air vents. There's also a wide center console that appears less cluttered than the outgoing models and features a large, deep bin ahead of the shift lever for stashing smartphones, keys, and road trip snacks. And according to Honda, the passenger space is roughly the same, and the cargo bay is even more generous. When it comes to infotainment, the Civic comes standard with a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment display. However, customers can get a larger 9.0-inch unit, which is optional. In addition, there's also a 10.2-inch digital gauge display that is also optional for customers. No matter the screen size, you get both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard and wireless connectivity when paired with the larger screen. Some of the other options include in-dash navigation, a Bose stereo system, and a wireless smartphone charging pad. If the 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid coming to the American market is anything like the current Honda Civic, then it'll have a lot to offer. However, given that the powertrain might change, the interior might also be slightly modified. Honda might also add more technology for the American market to make it stand out. After all, they do want it to stand out from its competitors. The 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid will have to bring its A-game to stand out from its competition. It'll have to face off with cars like the Toyota Corolla Hybrid and the Honda Accord Hybrid, both of which have become favorites for those looking for hybrid sedans. However, if Honda makes it different and unique, then it'll definitely win people over. And given that many people loved the Honda Civic before it was discontinued from the American market, the reintroduction of the 2025 Honda Civic Hybrid might have a lot of people going for it. So, what do you think of the 2025 Honda Civic? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. And before you leave, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.